I came outside for honestly I don't even know what reason but I'm I'm sick so if you hear a sick voice that's me obviously but it's cuz I'm sick and I don't think I like this angle at all I'm leaning on my sister's trampoline but I think we're doing a lot in this vlog I want to talk to you guys first of all I want somebody to comment down below a matcha order like something that you would order for matcha that tastes good to you so I can try it because I have matcha from Symbiotica that I ordered if you guys saw my video I don't know which video if it was the one before or the one before that I ordered matcha from Symbiotica and I'm still trying to figure out how to drink it and how to drink it in a way that I'm going to enjoy so I've had two failed attempts at this and then I want to talk to you guys about some other stuff I want to talk to you guys about books because I need help on that now so I think we're getting my permit in this video I might just make this a long vlog and get my permit in this video I need to schedule my appointment but I did wash my hair today it's still wet but tomorrow my mom has a doctor's appointment and then afterwards maybe we can go to the DMV so I can do all my stuff to get my permit because yes I am 17 and I still do not have my permit <laughs> it's been pushed back because of family issues and my mental health so it's kind of been pushed back and it's not been something that's been on the top of my mind or something that I feel like is the most important thing I should be worrying about but I already did my test and I passed it months ago and all I need to do is schedule my appointment to walk into the DMV to take my picture and you know get my picture taken of which it's kind of nerve-wracking because I also have to do an eye exam while I'm there Ooh. And I need a lot of paperwork, so I need to look for that paperwork just in case we do end up going. But tomorrow, just in case we do end up going tomorrow. But this vlog will include me going to the DMV to get my photo done and all that. It'll be a very long video, so hope you enjoy. I wanted to talk to you guys a book about a book really quick um, because I'm struggling. I've never even been in a phase where I've read like so many books and been enthralled with books because I have a whole bunch of books but sometimes I'll pick them up read them and then I'll be bored for example right now I'm reading book lovers but I haven't picked it up in about a week the only book that I've read and have given four stars it's not the only book I've read like total but that I have given five stars was the ballad of songbirds and snakes and i really enjoyed this book and this book kept me really really entertained and i want a book like this um and i know maybe you guys are going to recommend the first couple longer games books because i have not read those which validly so but if there's any more books like this okay kind of that build a world there's angst there is like drama in the book because this is like very much like there's a lot of drama like there's things going on and there's things that are oh my god are those termites oh, thank god they're outside but there's a lot um anyways there's a lot going on in this book but not to the point where it's very overwhelming and the pace for me of this book is perfect it's unlike any book I've ever read and I need more recommendations like this so if you're watching this video and you know books like this that are not the OG Hunger Games books I haven't read those then please please comment down below because I would really appreciate it because I really enjoyed this book so much this is a five-star read for me and I would read it again so if you guys could recommend me a book like this one that would be greatly appreciated appreciated also I tried to schedule my thing at the DMV but I'm having some technical difficulties with that because it's not letting me select the time which I'm actually gonna do it for Thursday not Wednesday if I did say the day it's not gonna be Wednesday it's gonna be Thursday if I can 
uh, schedule it so I can get this done already. I want this to be over. I don't want this to be something that I'm like still trying to get. But I am, I guess, late to the game, but I do have a friend of mine that actually got their permit slash learner's license two weeks ago. At the time of filming this, this may be released about three or four weeks after my friend got it, but maybe like two weeks after I get mine. I don't know. Oh, it's May 21st, Tuesday, and I'm going to hopefully do this May 23rd. Beach Read is the book that I have picked up and have stopped at page, I don't even know what chapter it's on, but it's page 118. So I've gotten that far in, I've read all of this, but I haven't picked it up in about a week. And I don't know what it is. I will let you, I, I will give you guys updates on this book in this video if I end up trying to keep reading it. I do want to actually read some of the book right now when I am done with you. It is only 10 o'clock, so hopefully I can read for like 30 minutes. I usually don't even do like kind of time. I usually just do based on chapters. So I'll be like, okay, I'm going to read five chapters and however long that is, then it'll be however long that is because I feel like I get overwhelmed with timing because reading can feel very slow sometimes and so I want to be in a rush and then it's kind of like well I don't really want to do this anymore so yeah I'm gonna read this and if I have any I don't think I'll have any thoughts but I'm just gonna read maybe like five chapters I hope you guys don't see my messy room to really pick it up which I actually want to do a video because I have some ideas that I want to do for my room I don't know when was the last time I vlogged I think it was two nights ago but I got my ears pierced hack players I know everybody tells you don't go there don't go I don't care I don't care okay anyways I pierced them myself about two years ago and that was just a whole fiasco they got infected I pulled them out it's Friday I think the last day I vlogged was Wednesday because yesterday I was going to go oh the DMV situation oh we never got my license we had to schedule um we never got my license period uh because you had to do it by appointment even though I had tried to do an appointment that didn't work whatever so now we scheduled an appointment for July I'm not getting my permit in this video but that's okay we're gonna get you Hello, it is Sunday, and yesterday we took, I'll just explain to you guys since I didn't vlog, and I wanted to do a vlog, we took our dog uh, um, to get groomed, then <clears throat> in the time that she was there, we went to Boot Barn because we're going to a birthday sometime in June that is kind of western themed so we're doing that oh yeah and i found a dress i'll show you guys it i don't know when anyways i'm gonna finish eating my strawberries Oh, I look horrid. Um, I'm still sick. And yesterday, I think, I don't know what happened, but I was very, like, sneezy. Oh, yesterday, we also, in the morning, like, early in the morning, 9 a.m., uh, we had to wake up earlier than that, but uh, we went to go eat with a, let me fix my hair. We went to go eat with a friend of mine who's moving in her entire family. And we stayed there for a while, almost till lunchtime. And then, you know, did the other stuff I told you about. So, that's pretty much it. I'll see you, I don't know when. I'm so dry. My skin looks so dry. Okay, goodbye.
Okay guys, we just came out of Trader Joe's and I wanted to try these because I saw people trying them on TikTok months, months, months ago. Um, but we're gonna, or I'm gonna try it. I already gave one to my mom and my sister who's in the back. Okay. Oh. I like the taste. And the packaging is cute. Like, look at this. Okay. Another thing we got was the crunchy curls, which I also seen on TikTok. Do you want to try one? You don't want to try it? It's, it's lentil and potato snack. Okay, let me try this. You already tried it? No, that's why I'm recording. That's what I thought, so I don't know. I don't really taste that though. It tastes more potato. A five. A five? Yes, a five. I'll give it a six. And that's all. <laughs> okay, it's a different day. I did my nails. It's the day after I tried the Trader Joe's thing, so it's Sunday. And I did my nails. I went to the Sally Beauty store and I got some top coat because I needed top coat. This is the one I got if you guys wanted to know. I do my nails at home just because it is less expensive and a money saver. Because you essentially and paying for the products is about the price of one manicure with gel. Which is about 30, 40 bucks. And you get to do your nails as many times as you want versus just one thing. But I know a lot of people don't have time. But anyways, this is the... I asked the lady if they had gel top coat, which I knew they did, but I just didn't know because, like, I was kind of confused because some of them are, like, for soaking, like, when you do gel, like, dip or whatever. I don't really know. I know some stuff about nails, but not, like, you know, expert. So, she said this. She gave me this brand, and it's what I'm, what I just used, and I personally really like it. I use Beatles Nail Polish and the base coat because that's, I got it on Amazon trying to create my purse basically because I never carry a lot of product and when I do it's usually just my phone and maybe my wallet and I'll just have like maybe one of my sisters and my mom hold it but I'm like I really need to start like doing this for myself <laughs> so anyways I am using this bag it doesn't match my outfit but I don't really care all too much just because I like the length of this I don't like the other one that I was carrying around let me show you this one, my mom gave me this one, but I just don't like the length and I don't like holding my bag like this. But it's from the SAC Originals. And this I think she bought from the actual brand. I got mine at the thrift store, but it is also the SAC. And it has this little chain. I just got it at Goodwill for like three, I think it was five, three or five dollars. And I thought it was super cute, which is why I got it. And basically, We'll just give you a quick little tour of what's in my bag. I don't feel like doing a whole video on this because like it really changes or either just stays the same. It's not that interesting. We have the Road Peptide Lip Treatment, which I'm basically almost, literally there's like nothing left. I have to squeeze really hard. So that's why I'm also bringing my other Road uh, Lip Treatment. I'm bringing a claw, claw, claw clip, my Vaseline. I'm literally almost done with it. And previous to this bag, there was a nail clipper in here. So I guess it's just going to stay in there. It's not like I'm going through anything with security in it. Because if I did, they would probably ask me to take it out. I went to Universal once and I think I had a cuticle cutter. And I forgot that was in there. And they saw it and they were like, oh, okay. They let me keep it because they, I don't know, tested to see how sharp it was. And I guess it's not sharp enough to injure someone. And so they let me just go through with it. Otherwise, I would have had to throw it out. I have a pad, I'm not on my period, but in case someone does start, I have one. 
my wallet which i got from epcot i think this is the cutest thing ever i think i got it in china and i just think it's super cute and it really carries all my cards my cash and um change although unpopular opinion like I, people usually separate those things i just have them all in one i can show you i have my library cards my actual card and my expired one and my new one <laughs> oh i have my expired one in here and a gift card from target all the goods even though there's no money on that gift card and then in this little socket pocket we've got some gum a envelope with money in it for four dollars this money is separated because this is money my grandma gave me low-key sentimental because i don't want to get rid of it even though i'm taking it with me some change and my earbuds and that's pretty much it you know i have a feeling i should probably take some toothpicks because i do i have been flossing a lot let me just say game changer you don't want cavities and whatnot oh yes and sanitizer i have lots of those but i use it quite a bit i'm not a germaphobe germaphobe but i definitely use it and this is what it looks like it's just in this cute little case from bath and body works and it is warm vanilla sugar, if you are curious. Super duper cute. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys. I'll vlog whatever I do today. Because I think we're going to several places. We need to make several returns. One being at Boot Barn. And I forgot what else, but that's one of the things. So I'll vlog and see. I'll try and not forget to vlog and see what we did today. We're at a jumping place. Urban Air. I think they have those around the world or the country. We got cookies from this place called Blue Queen. We got one cookie, Blue Bottle. No, Blue Queen. <laughs> oh. Where? Oh, yeah, Blue Crank Cookies. And we got chocolate chip. And it was this big cookie, kind of like crumble size, I think maybe smaller. And it had one chocolate like one big chocolate in the middle this is a piece of it i would say maybe it's better than crumble but if they were maybe warmer i would like it more um but they're like chewy but not overly chewy and they're not like raw like maybe some people say for crumble so and they put some salt on it so it's not that sweet sweet but not that sweet what would you give the cookie from one to ten eight okay that's all we went to an italian place and we got some things from home goods We got some things from Home Goods. I want to show you guys when we get to the house. And I think that's it. We got several things from Home Goods. Okay, that's it. I have no service, so I can't do anything with my phone except record, take pictures. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys. I don't know when. Are you scared? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on. Everything that we got from Home Goods, really quick. I don't know how much battery my camera has. And if you hear our dog in the back, excuse her. Okay, we got these for our cats for when they get out of the litter box. We just got two of those. We got these egg slicers, or this egg slicer, which we'll see. Like, I'm excited to use this when we make cardboard eggs. My mom got, my mom got all of this, but this is for her bathroom. Let me show you. You put it on your shower, and then you can put stuff in here. You can put soap, and then you can hang stuff on this. We got this hanging auto litter bag for my sisters in the back seat. This for... Father's Day. This for my grandpa. I'll show you guys real quick. 
obviously we're going to replace the photo with a photo of me and my sisters. Yeah, I need to find one. Last we got three hats. They each come with two of these for the little kittens we have. And it was on sale for five bucks. So we have three sets of these, which are just really cute. Hope you enjoy that haul. Excuse ratchet lighting because lighting light comes in from here. Oh. You know, that could have been on the whole entire time I did this thing, but it's okay. Oh, I got these pens. Did I show you guys the pens that I got? I got three pens from Barnes & Noble's when we went yesterday. Okay, so. And it comes with two other ones like this, but it has a mushroom and then a boba. And they're gel pens. And I just thought it was cute, so I got it.